Okay. Hi. Um, it's fall, 2021. active making videos mainly because I actually did a lot of healing um, and more than that I actually did a lot of living because of the healing um, 2020 was a hard year for everyone it was a year where I was healing I was really navigating some traumas Really navigating some relationship things, career things, identity things, religious things, financial things. Um, and in a way, like, you never really stop dealing with that stuff, but it was all very heavy in 2020. In the beginning of 2021, I actually it was the last day of 2020, I decided that 2021 was going to be 2020 fun. <laughs> Whatever that meant for me, however I could possibly have fun, that's what I did. Um, that's what I've done. Like I said, it's fall, it's October 2021. And I've pretty much stuck to that. Um, I think, you know, growing up the way I did and being taught what I did in a religious setting, I really thought that life was meant to be kind of struggled through. Um, and just through a lot of my healing, I've realized that that's not true. Um, struggles come with life, but that doesn't mean it has to be hard all the time. Um, and not to make this video about that, you know, I have a whole podcast about that, but I, I realized I just didn't want to live in brokenness anymore and I didn't want to be broken. I mean, no one wants to be broken, but I realized I really wasn't broken anymore. It's kind of weird whenever you actually heal. And of course there's going to be things that come up that, you know, remind me of what I've been through and some of the pains and things that lessons I've learned and whatever. Of course, again, that's life, but in so many ways, I'm no longer just healing, but I feel good, <laughs> feel happy and healed. And so I spent a lot of 2021 actually enjoying my life for the very first time, I think. Um, and I've made some really good friends. And I've realized what life is like, you know, not being a touring musician and, you know, Christian music industry. And I know what it's like to not even do like music full time now, uh, what that's like for me. Um, it's interesting. Like that was one of many lessons I, I learned, but now it seems like far off, but I do music now for fun, and anyway, won't get into that either. That's not the point of this video. I really don't know what the point of this video is, to be honest. Um, you know, I was talking to Adam the other day, and I realized we're living the good times. The good old times are now. The good old times are any moment and any time where you have a desire you have a passion and you do that. So right now, as a 20 or 28 year old, 
if I want to go out with my friends and get lemon drop shots and that's truly my desire and my passion in the moment, like, and I do it, that is the good old days. You know, maybe when I'm 85, if I want to go out with my friends, take lemon drop shots, and I do it, then I'm living the good old days. Or if I'm 85 years old and I want to watch the grandkids roll around in the yard while sipping on my herbal tea, and that's my true desire then, that's also the good old days. You know, thinking about like maybe having a family one day and having kids and you know, I don't want to think that the rest of my life looks back on this time thinks those were the good old days because I think any time you're in the present moment, but you could also kind of be thinking about where you've been and also the good times you're gonna have, like all at the same time, like that is what the good old days is, like being present and I just, I feel like, I feel like I'm in that, but I also feel like I will always be in that because um, that's what I'm choosing for my life is to always be in the good old days. So these are the good old days for me. They'll always be the good old days. Um, yeah, Adam and I are still doing a podcast. It's thriving on nine seasons now. We talk about breaking down, we break down topics, you know, like the religious stuff and faith stuff and spirituality. And we used to be, we used to identify as Christian and now we're both agnostic or mystical atheist as I like to coin it. I also host a radio show at a local radio station here in Nashville. Um, and it's called Bitchelorettes. The radio station is called Yoko, but my show is called Bitchelorettes. And we have on pop artists and we talk about celebrity gossip and that's just fun. Life's just a lot more fun than I ever thought it could be. And like I said, I have friends, <laughs> which seems crazy because yeah, like everyone should have friends, but you know, being groomed from an early age to have a career and be in that career and make that career your identity and your spirituality and your financial income and your friendships, like all of that, you know, it just doesn't, something's gotta give. Um, and I just spent, I spent a lot of years without friends, to be honest, real friends. And I'm really just happy. Um, yeah, and, and usually like I come on here and I have things to say and I have things written out, but I haven't written as much. I mean, I still write, but you know, a lot of those times, like I was speaking to me, I was speaking to myself. I was telling me, you know, that it was gonna be okay and that you can live beyond the binary and you can change your mind and do all these things. Of course, like I'm, I'm wanting to encourage whoever you are, but it was for me. And not that I don't need lessons. Again, I'm always going to go through things and I'm always going to learn lessons and there's probably going to be another season like that. But I do think that really hard, dark season for my life is over, which is crazy. Like, it makes you question, even saying it out loud, like, am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed to say that I'm happy? Like, is that okay? And I think that's just like the way I was raised. But I am. Um, and Adam's busy. He's got a couple jobs, actually. Um, I've been doing photography, the radio show, podcast. I do write, you know, I blog and things like that. And I help a couple businesses with their social media. It's just, that's real, that this is my real life. And I just don't really care to have a facade. Um, I'm a 20, 28 year old, I can't say my age. I'm a 28 year old living in Nashville, you know, after years of being in a religious industry and dealing with some religious trauma <laughs> um, and family stuff and all of that. Like, this is my real life. Um, Patchouli's doing good. She's right beside me. She's asleep. We just went on a walk. I think that's it. Like, I just wanted to touch base. Uh, I'm still vegan, kind of. I mean, I am very much still vegan, but I eat honey. I just want to break a rule every once in a while because that's who I am. Um, but I don't really, 
I think it's important. I think being vegan is important, but labels don't really suit me very much anymore. I just don't really care. Um, I do aim to be low waste. I'm not zero waste. I care about the earth. I care about people. I'm not a very people person, but I do love humanity. Um, I like dancing with my friends and yeah, living the good old times. So thanks for listening. I think that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.